This is Lene Dunn from the Regional Education Laboratory West, REL West. I am here with Sola Takahashi, also from REL West, and Steve Holmes, who's the superintendent of Sunnyside Unified School District in Arizona, to talk about improvement science. So welcome, both of you. Thank you. Thanks. Sola, can you give us a brief overview of improvement science and how it can be used in education? So improvement science is a methodology for tackling complex problems in systems. One of the really core principles of improvement science is this idea that it is a system that produces the outcomes that we see. And it's not about just individuals working harder, right? We really have to identify the norms and structures and processes that are producing the results that we're seeing. There's one framework in particular that I want to just talk briefly about. Um, And that's called the model for improvement. It's what are you trying to accomplish? What changes are you going to introduce to try to accomplish this aim? And how will you know if these changes are, in fact, improvements? And the improvement team, the people who are engaged in the work of tackling this particular problem, they come around the table to really agree on the responses to these three questions. And that, in turn, connects to these inquiry cycles called PDSA cycles. PDSA stands for Plan, Do, Study, Act. Um, And it is through these sequence of PDSA cycles that the improvement team really develops um, confidence around particular change ideas with ultimately the goal of scaling and spreading those effective change ideas to the larger system. So the goal is not just making things better on average, but really across classrooms, across schools, and over time maintaining positive outcomes. Steve, what drew you to improvement science and what kinds of problems did you want it to help you solve? I was definitely intrigued by the idea of really testing this idea of improvement science um, in an area that we really felt needed to be addressed, uh, which was third grade literacy and just early literacy in general. We've been a school district that's been at the lower end of performance for decades. Um, And so a lot of the work and the engagement of the work in trying to improve performance uh, resulted in the implementation of multiple programs, layers of programs that, quite frankly, resulted in minimal growth over time. Um, As a result of that, we continue to layer more and more expectations of our teachers to implement more and more programs. But we have not, in my opinion, taken the time to acknowledge the learning that has to happen for us to have sustainable change in an organization. Can you talk a little bit about how you see improvement science uh, specifically working and fitting into that overall vision that you have at your district and how it's integrated with other work that you're doing? It resonated well with the theory of action that I had established over time and what I really believed were the leverage for change and improvement and, cr- and creating a learning organization. By developing a coherence framework, it allowed us to acknowledge the complexities of the system and acknowledge that it's not a pure linear, linear pathway to improving performance. As we began to message the importance of the classroom teacher and acknowledging their expertise, I think this allows us now to overlay this framework into a, to a manageable piece that really relates to being user and user driven and acknowledging that work and helping teachers to have a process by which they actually solve problems on their own quickly so that they can actually learn from those experiences and either change or continue to go deeper in in both their own learning and in the learning of students. So what at this point, I know it's early on, but perhaps you have some insights into what's been really promising about this work so far. There are some great things that are happening in each of our schools that we have yet to capitalize on because it's being done by a few select individuals in the school who have knowledge and skills that go untapped because there's not a really good process by which we um, unveil those things that may be working for them that can be scalable. If I had to call out one thing as uh, being really particularly promising to me about this work, um, it is really about the collective professional agency that develops among teachers and principals and school and district staff who engage in this work, that sense of agency that I see among educators who engage in this work has been really powerful to me. And I think goes towards building that culture of learning that Steve is talking about. 
I just want to thank both of you as partners in this work, Sola for bringing your deep expertise in improvement science and Steve as the leader in your district, bringing a clear vision and coherence to the work. Thank you. Yeah, I'm thrilled to be a part of this work. This recording was funded by the Institute for Education Sciences at the U.S. Department of Education. To learn more, visit ies.ed.gov.